Well then. Well then. Hi, Pete. Hey, man. <laughs> hey, Rabir. How's How it are? going? How's it going? It's going well. Welcome, Welcome to Anthony's TV. <laughs> oh, oh, hey. Thank you. Hello. End of the day. End of the day. Too many coffees. Yeah, it's taken us a little while to get this uh, Zeus. <laughs> Cap Zeus. It is Cap Zeus. It's not a Cap clone, it's a Cap Zeus. Oh. Zeus, the god of gods, the god of thunder, the god of all creation. No, the in god of thunder. Greek mythology. The, 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 the Thor. Is it a Thor? Ah, Greek. Yes. Greek. And as I was saying, <laughs> the Cab Zeus by GFI Systems. Yes. We have already looked at the Specular Reverb, the Clockworks Delay, and the Specular Tempest. Which is out there. All incredibly good pedals Absolutely. for the money. Yeah. And this is no exception. No. This is the Cab Zeus. Yeah. Now. The, you use cap simulators mm -hmm. in your studio at home. I do. Uh, I don't use them very much because I use my Kemper right. when I record stuff like that. So yes. I just pick, uh, you know, a profile speaker with a speaker and, and normally a pretty thing. And this sounds great to me. And Presumably I don't want to too much around the it. same with the Helix. Helix is um, the same. So when I use the Helix, it's literally just that. I'm, I'm trying to do all of this uh, IR. Impulse responses. Impulse responses. Yes. Uh, but I'm still trying to faff about with that because time is of an in essence. And on that note, <laughs> we essentially, that is what this is. Yeah. It's filled with IRs. Yeah. It's also filled with the ability to move around a virtual microphone and a virtual speaker. Yeah. Much, much like the two-note stuff. Yeah. However, this is more affordable. Yes. And if you have, so what we have, if... if this is just the signal chain on this is Riverside from Strymon. Yep. The specular reverb. Yep. Straight into here. Yep. Left, right. Yep. Into the uh, door. And into that, the Apollo 8P. What Pete just said about left, right. Yeah. The way we've done that. Yeah. Just so you know, is that obviously this is the Riverside is a mono pedal. We've gone mono out into the specular. Yeah. Summed it to stereo. In a, in a nutshell, we've gone two outs into two ins, so yes. we can give you. Two microphone sounds, stereo, all the rest. Yes, of it. because this box here is a, it's got left and right inputs, mm -hmm. so you can have two different cabs, correct? Yes, you can. Okay, so there is a, we've hooked it up to a computer on the floor, using which USB. has got the cabs lab, mm -hmm. using a USB cable, which has got a um, editor yep. where you can choose loads of different microphones, speakers, speakers. microphones, axis, off axis, yeah. presets, all of that jazz. And uh, hopefully you can see that we've got a, a screen grab going on, and actually me and me and Pete can see the computer yeah. as well, just so that we can navigate. <laughs> so I can navigate us on the screen. So, but I mean, there's loads of features, and it's worth pointing out that the key ones first up and f foremost. So, imagine I'm just going to focus on one side, and then basically it's twice this. It's basically doubled up because it's left and right. But yeah. let's focus on one for now. So let's say the left hand side we've gone into. So firstly, you can control between the edge of the speaker and the center of the speaker, either using the OS, or you can go ahead and use this knob here on the close-up cam, you can see. I can move to the center or to the edge. Um, so that's how you can control where the microphone goes. Yep. Next up, if you want to implement any of those changes, this little silver knob in the middle, you have to press that down to then activate the changes you've made. But if you've got the app, you'll hear it in real time. Yeah. This metal knob in the middle also controls your presets. As you can see, we've got four green lights. Yeah. So one, two, three, four, then they change red. So you've got eight presets you can control. And to activate them, you literally just click down and change it. Yeah. And when there's nothing on, that means there's no IR involved. Okay. So you're and, just hearing. And that, and that sounds like this. And if and I then click one. You, do you have to click it to activate? Let's take a bit of gain. Off there, just get a bit of clean. If I was to, that sounded really nice. Yeah. If I was to, because we're running stereo, what you're hearing is two speakers, two mics. If I send, go all the way to the edge on this side. It's really dull. A bit like me. Yeah, and on, on now on the caps lap on the you can do the same thing, right? Yeah. But it should do it in open 
uh, in real time, I'm yep. looking at it as open cap and ported cap. There you go. So it it takes a lot of time. It's Once when you, you take the it, mouse off. Yeah. Then it. And you can solo each side by clicking the left. Yeah. So if you click up on uh, on there, and then you solo. It's also worth pointing out, if you can see, we can choose between an open back cab and a closed back. Mm. Then also you've got guitar cab speakers, bass cab speakers. Then you've actually got models of load boxes. So just jump in there real quick. How cool is this? You can choose a Palmer one if you want. Oh, right. you, you can see all the different ones here. Crimson box, all that kind of stuff. Yeah. And then of course you've got you've got um, miscellaneous. Uh, miscellaneous being like a full range speaker, telephone. megaphone, <laughs> telephone. So there's some cool effects in yeah. there. If we go to the guitar speakers, because we are guitarists, you can see here you've got American types and British types of speakers like Alnico's, V30s, and yeah. mess of stuff. And then you've got they're not 10 named. Inch and 12 inch. They're not named. So I, I no. reckon it's probably because, you know, they're maybe a naming thing or whatever. Like, a, yeah. you, know, you can't put the names in there. But exactly. we'll, we'll assume it's like Celestians and Eminence and, yeah. and all that sort of stuff. And of course, you can preset that. You can either save your preset using the software, but it's so much easier just to do it. So say you've set it up on there, and or you've set it up on here, sorry. Yeah. And I've got my sound. So this is my sound that I like. If I hold this, Click and flash hold. three times, and now it's saved. One, two, three. So if you go down one, you yep. get that. And you go and back. You go back. And you can use this with acoustic guitar as well. It's worth saying yep. you can literally put your guitar straight in there, take a DI out into mm -hmm. the door. Yep. Uh, in our case, Apollo 8P. Mm -hmm. um, and just record it like that. Yeah. I mean, a couple yeah. of other cool features are this cab through. So if you are using oh, yes. a line out of your amplifier, because obviously this is aimed at, like what we've set up here is kind of what I'd use it for. Or if you had a Kemper and you turn the cab off there, you want it more flexibility, yeah. you'd use it here or Helix. Yeah, if or, you or have, what if the uh, atomic amplifier as well? Yeah. All of that stuff, yeah. But if you have an amp like a JVM with an emulated line out or the Husing Kettner gear or anything like that, you mm -hmm. can actually take the line out of the amp into here uh, from the speaker out of the amp and then go through back to a real cabinet so you can monitor yourself, but what the sound engineer gets is the left and right out of the, yeah. out and the old cab Zeus. That means that he's happy because he can control it. It does. <laughs> um, it is worth just reiterating how simple our signal chain is, in the yeah. sense that we've got mean, Riverside, Delay, cab Zeus, and that's the kind of tones that's that you're That's all getting. it is. And that's all it is. And it's a nice sounding speed. It's not too spiky, not too fizzy, not yeah. too flubby. Again, I've, I've sort of steered clear of all of those cab simulators thing. I'm, I'm, I'm not. It's not. It's not a thing for me. I understand the the. Um, you know, we did a video on it once. Yeah. Or something that we shall not be named, but it is kind of. It's a. <laughs> it's it's a useful tool. Yeah. And they're coming along a long way. I mean, if if it's a load box with three different switches on it. Yeah. It's never going to emulate a cabinet. I mean, no. you have to then edit it. But these, you got so much more control over them because you have got your. Uh, you know, you've got your your editor there, and mm -hmm. you, just, you can do your different speakers. You know, I'm not sure if you can you can load presets. Maybe people can make presets online. Yep. Uh, and upload, give them to each other. I mean, there's there's loads of there's loads of op options with with these things. You know, and you even can... microphones. See? Oh, hang on. Yeah. Awesome. Uh, I've switched to microphones, so you can actually then go ahead and and mess around with different microphones, different style uh, microphone IRs. You can see there's a room mic you can blend in if you wanted to. Ah. It's all pretty intense yeah and a pretty um, easy piece of software it's not over sort of over you know over i, I when i open any editors up and I, I have to use it i just yeah it's like two I'm just windows going, oh what's happening i need to just yeah do that but this it's, it's not too bad so I'm, ah. and also whilst pete's having a little play each side has a uh, minus 20 or minus 30 dp pad as well if you had a really hot signal coming in there dp out, 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 out to the sound desk yeah uh, things like you could have your guitar go in the left side you could plug your mp3 into the right hand side and select um frfr on the software and then you could have an mp3 or you and your friend phone out on yeah, the back absolutely or volume your, control yes or your friend could plug his bass in on one side 
give that to the sound guy and you could plug your guitar on the other side. I gotta admit, I'm impressed by GFI systems. Yeah. I, I, I've, not, I've not heard of them before we did demos of the other the reverbs and delays, but yeah. everything I've heard, build quality, functionality, and sound quality have been and exceptional. Price. I mean, price and the as well. Price. I mean, so the price on this is... 279 I believe. Yeah, something like that. And I mean, if you want a similar... Um, which you use the um, I use the two note stuff yeah the two note stuff and that is the price up next on that is like 500 quid for a yeah, pedal thing around then, that well around that area yeah. for, for 400 500 quid yeah that's a big gap I mean it so is. these guys are a small company in Jakarta yes and I mean well, they're doing it aren't they I'm impressed colour me impressed hey I reckon we should have a little mess around with some tonnage yeah um, you play and I mess alrighty so um, let me steal your jack. Uh, so anyway, on that note, I think we should just sign out, right? Yeah. Yeah. So go and check them out. Links are below. And uh, this was Anderson TV. My name is Pete. My name is Rabia. And we'll see you next time. Peace Please out. subscribe. Hey everybody, thanks for watching the Anderton's Guitar YouTube channel. If you're a drummer or a keyboard player or interested in music technology, you might find one of our other channels interesting and I'll put details of those in the description below. If you want to find out more about the products we've just featured, please click here. If you'd like to buy a t-shirt like this, please click here. 
If you want to watch another video on our guitar channel, click down here. And to subscribe to our guitar channel, click here. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you next time.